Dreaming of dating the boss's daughter might seem like a fairy tale coming true, but it could morph into a nightmare, a career-limiting move. Meet John, he's a hard-working employee who's recently found himself smitten with his boss's daughter. The allure is undeniable, she's attractive, smart, intriguing. The thought of their intertwined personal and professional life seems exciting, even glamorous. But as John would soon discover, this dream could quickly turn into a series of challenges, a career-limiting move. John's work life was about to be turned upside down. Imagine John, an ambitious, hard-working professional who has just started dating the boss's daughter. Suddenly his colleagues start whispering behind his back. They suspect he's receiving special treatment and this perception damages his credibility. A classic career-limiting move. His every promotion, every bonus is seen not as a result of his skills and dedication, but as an unfair advantage stemming from his romantic relationship. Then, there's the conflict of interest. John finds it increasingly difficult to balance his personal and professional interests. He's caught in a career-limiting move. He's under pressure to perform, to exceed expectations, and to prove that he's not just riding the coattails of his relationship. But the more he excels, the more the whispers grow. And let's not forget about workplace gossip. John's personal life becomes the hot topic around the water cooler. The office grapevine thrives on such juicy tidbits, leaving him with little privacy. This, in turn, fuels jealousy and resentment among his peers. They see him not as a colleague, but as the boss's future son-in-law. His professional reputation takes a hit, with his abilities being overshadowed by his personal connection. Social events, which used to be fun and relaxing, now become awkward and tense. There's an elephant in the room that everyone's trying to ignore. John's relationship is always under scrutiny, which leads to a perception of manipulation. His decisions, his actions, are seen as influenced by the boss's family. His autonomy is questioned. And then there's the issue of feedback. Constructive criticism, a crucial part of professional growth, is avoided. After all, who wants to criticize the boss's future son-in-law? This lack of objectivity hinders John's ability to learn and improve. John was beginning to realize that his professional life was becoming a minefield of potential pitfalls, a career-limiting move. As the saying goes, all that glitters is not gold. And for John, dating the boss's daughter was proving to be more of a challenge than a privilege, a career-limiting move. But it wasn't just John's professional life that was under strain. As he navigated the treacherous waters of office politics and workplace dynamics, John found his personal life wading into uncharted territories as well. The stress of proving his worth at work began seeping into his relationship, putting undue pressure on their bond. It was as if he was always on the clock, even at home. And then there was the office gossip, the rumor mill, forever churning, had turned John's private life into daily fodder. Privacy, a luxury he once took for granted, was now a distant memory. Every glance, every conversation, every shared lunch was dissected and discussed, adding a layer of discomfort to his daily routine. The resentment from his colleagues was palpable, a sense of jealousy, perhaps even a hint of betrayal hung in the air. It was as if he had crossed an invisible line, breaking an unspoken rule. His professional reputation, painstakingly built over years, was now under the shadow of his personal relationships. Social events, once a source of relaxation and camaraderie, became a tightrope walk. The tension was always there, lurking beneath the surface, ready to bubble over at the slightest provocation. It was no longer about enjoying the company of his colleagues but about avoiding potential conflicts. And if navigating the minefield of office dynamics wasn't enough, John also found himself dealing with complex family dynamics. He was no longer just an employee or a boyfriend but an integral part of the family business. Each decision, each action was scrutinized not just from a professional standpoint but also a personal one. Amidst all this, the biggest strain was perhaps on John himself. The need to maintain a balance to separate the personal from the professional was a constant struggle. The lines were blurred and often it was John who bore the brunt of it. John was starting to understand that the challenges extended far beyond the office a career-limiting move. His professional life and personal life were intricately entwined, each affecting the other in ways he hadn't anticipated. He was learning, the hard way, that dating the boss's daughter came with a unique set of challenges that had far-reaching consequences, a career-limiting move. John was now facing some tough ethical dilemmas and potential long-term consequences, a career-limiting move. The ethical challenges were not to be underestimated. He found himself in situations where personal and professional ethics clashed. 
For instance, when he had to make decisions that could favor his department, he felt conflicted. Would he be making the choice because it was the best for the company, or because it might please his significant other? The power imbalance in their relationship was also becoming more apparent. The hierarchical structure at work began to seep into their personal life, creating tension and unease. John was no longer just an employee, he was also a part of the boss's family in the eyes of his colleagues. This perception was affecting their relationship and was something they hadn't anticipated. Looking into the future, John began to see the potential long-term consequences that this relationship could have on his professional trajectory. He started to question if he would be able to grow and progress in his career, or if his relationship would always overshadow his abilities and accomplishments. Would his colleagues ever see him as just John, or would he always be the guy who's dating the boss's daughter? As John weighed these ethical dilemmas and potential long-term consequences, he found himself at a crossroads, a career-limiting move. He had to decide if his relationship was worth these complications and potential professional setbacks. John was left questioning whether the potential rewards were worth the risks. So, was dating the boss's daughter a dream come true or a nightmare for John, a career-limiting move? This is the question we've been exploring. We've unpacked the potential pitfalls from the perception of favoritism and unfair advantages to the strain on personal relationships and the challenges of navigating complex family dynamics. We've also highlighted the ethical dilemmas, power imbalances, and the potential long-term career consequences that might unfold. But remember, every situation is unique. What might be a career-limiting move for John could be a dream for someone else. It's about weighing up the potential risks against the benefits, always keeping in mind your personal circumstances and what you value most in your professional and personal life. So now it's over to you. What are your thoughts? Have you ever been in a similar situation, a career-limiting move? Share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. We're looking forward to hearing your perspectives. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and send to a friend. Comments are appreciated. Career-limiting move. Management for life. The business of being you.